Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Chieftain Prep Rally video series. I'm Chieftain Sports Scribe Nick Journey, and I'm going to be your host on this journey each week only on Chieftain.com and our various social media platforms. We're going to be giving you a look at the top stories in the thriving Pueblo Prep sports scene. This week we're talking football. It's week one of the season and you can smell the excitement all the way from Dutch Clark Stadium. Thursday night we kick off with Canyon City and Central. Central head coach Jeremy Mercer told me he thinks this game's going to come down to turnovers or lack thereof. Last season the Wildcats forced five turnovers on the way to a 52-35 win over Luke Nethercott and the Tigers. This year the Wildcats are going to have a little different look on offense as senior Donovan Naylor Lewis and sophomore Marcus Duran are both expected to see time at quarterback. Friday brings a plethora of prime football matchups as well, none bigger than the 17th edition of the Pigskin Classic between Pueblo County and Pueblo West. The Cyclones have won the last eight meetings between the two District 70 rivals and return a majority of their offensive weapons from a year ago. That includes junior running back Devin Morgan and quarterback Connor Farnworth, as well as wideouts Jacob Wilkinson and Naeem Smyer Williams. The Hornets will counter with a new quarterback. It's going to be junior Jace Fillmore. He'll be surrounded by senior Zach Adkins and junior Adrian Soto in the backfield. You're definitely going to want to grab some popcorn for this pigskin pandemonium, which kicks off at 7 p.m. at Hornet Stadium. Meanwhile, at the Dutch on Friday, we're going to have a non-league battle between South and Centennial, which is still weird to say. The Colts are coming off a 55-21 drubbing over number 9 Wheat Ridge, thanks in part to three saucy touchdowns from Cause and Effect. That's junior Zach Cozzolino and wide receiver Marcel Barbie. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs are going to look to take the field behind senior quarterback Carlos Vigil for the first time. Also on Friday, Dolores Huerta is going to host Lions at the CSU Pueblo Thunder Bowl, and the Rye Thunder Bolts are going to host Centauri just down the road. The action continues Saturday with a huge Saturday Night Lights matchup between Longmont and East. Longmont was the only team to beat your defending 3A champion East Eagles last season and now they drop to the 3A ranks. It's definitely going to be a tough test for the Eagles as they prepare for a three-peat. Sophomore quarterback Luke Andrada takes over. He's going to be flanked by a pair of established playmakers in senior Bryson Torres and Luke Padula, who by the way combined for 34 touchdowns a season ago. That'll do it for this edition of the Chieftain Prep Rally. Be sure to like the Pueblo Chieftain on Facebook, follow on Twitter at Chieftain News, follow me on Twitter at NV Journey, follow Chieftain Preps on Twitter, and be sure to keep an eye out on Chieftain.com for all the latest and greatest news.